Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Study with Soumya. Hope you all are doing well. Well, in this video, we are going to do the discussion of coding questions that were asked in the Big Pro exam today itself, that is 25 September 2021. So do watch the complete video if you are having the exam today itself in another slot or you are having exam in upcoming days. Then this video is going to be very very helpful for you. So do watch the complete video. Also, if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, make sure to subscribe. This channel is going to be very very helpful for you for your preparation, right? So do subscribe the channel. Do join our Telegram channel. The link for the Telegram channel is given in the description itself. Also, just a quick reminder. Let me tell you that if you are looking to purchase any of the Geeks for Geeks courses for your placement preparation, for programming preparation, then our channel has collaborated with Geeks for Geeks. So you can get 10% discount on any of their courses by using the coupon code study with Soumya. So every information is given in the description itself. So check the description, use the coupon code study with Soumya and get the 10% discount now. Well, let's start with the main content of the video that is the discussion of coding questions that were asked in Wipro. Well, let me tell you one thing that the questions that are being asked are very, very easy. And you will come to know about this by watching the complete video that they are asking very easy, fairly easy question. When I saw the question, I was like, okay, this sort of question are getting asked. So the questions are easy. If you are clear about the basics, if you are having proper understanding of all sort of thing, you will be able to solve. Well, as such, I cannot take the exact question. So some sort of language will be different. Uh, that's why I'm not taking the exact question. I'm just explaining you the things so that you can get a sort of idea that what sort of questions are getting asked. And that is going to be helpful for you. So the first question that I'm going to discuss was something like, so basically there was some word problem that okay this is uh, there is a particular company that used to keep track of uh, how in how many days it is making profit and it is making loss so basically what you are having is you are given some days represented as and days in the question you are given some days represented as and days and for these and days you have been provided that when the company is making profit and when it is making loss right now profit Profit and loss has been represented by positive values, positive values and negative values. So basically an array is given to you for these n days. The size of array will be n itself and this array is having positive as well as negative values. Right. So uh, for example, we are having 6. Right. So 6 is basically representing the days and we are having 6 values. So 13 minus 12, 24. 33 minus 10, 88. So how many uh, values we are having? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these, this is the sort of profit and loss description given for a particular day. So for day 1, it is 13, day 2, minus 12, 24, 33, minus 10, 88. Right. So uh, you can see on this day, we are making profit. The company is making profit. On this day, it is making loss. So basically, positive value is representing profit and negative value is representing what? Negative value is representing loss. Now you have to basically determine that how many days the company made the profit. Right. So what you have to do is again a very easy question. Just simply you have to traverse the complete array. Traverse the array. Take a count variable. Initialize it with zero. Or when traversing the array you have to check that if if the current value on which you are, let's suppose this array is ARR. So the current value on which you are as of now, if it is greater than that of zero, it means what? It is positive, right? So basically you have to keep track of positive value, right? You have to keep track of positive value. So if the value given is greater than that of zero, you have to increment the value of your count variables. Right, because the overall objective of this question is just to determine for how many days the company were in profit. So that can be determined only by keeping track of the positive values in the given array. So by keeping track of that, by uh, increment the value of count variable, when the uh, value of the array is positive, you will be getting the number of days when the company was in profit. And at the last, you have to do nothing. You have to simply print that C value. So you can see how easy the question is. Just traverse the complete array. So first of all, this is positive. So C value will be 1. This is positive. C value will be 2. This is positive. C value will be 3. And this is positive. So C value will be 4. So for this given input, the output will be what? The output will would be 
4 so 4 will be the correct answer so this was the question right so i hope you must have understood the question and the logic as well for your proper understanding let me show you the code as well so that there is no confusion in your mind so let's move to the code part so here you can see what we are doing is we are having a main function to which we are ex ex accepting this n right so basically in the wipro exam uh, this input etc they have taken by themselves just you have to write the main logic in this function itself right so what we are doing here is we are taking the n value as input from the user we are taking this as input from the user then we are taking the array values from the user as input right so then we are taking this now what we are doing is to our function which will be basically returning us that on which day or like uh, how many number of days the sales were uh, or basically the company were in profit right so to this function we are basically passing our array and that is arr and the size of the array now you can see in this function the simple logic that we just discussed we are doing what we are taking a count variable initializing this with zero now simply we are traversing the array by taking a for loop for i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus now we are checking that if the current value on which we are if it is greater than that of zero it means it is positive it means it is contributing to profit so we are going to increment the value of count and simply we are returning the value of count at the last let me run it for you so for example if we are having 5 so 12 23 34 minus 90 minus 45 so you can see okay sorry by mistake minus 90 you can see we are getting 3 as the output because only 3 values are positive here. So, hope you have understood the complete question, the logic part and the code as well. Now, let me discuss the second question for you. So, the second question was something like related to some encryption and dis encryption. Encryption, decryption, some sort of question was there, right? So, this sort of question was there. Let me tell you that actually what sort of question was. So, basically the logic of the question was some word problem was there. I can't tell you the exact question right so i won't be telling you the exact question but the main theme of the question that i'm going to explain here so basically an string is given to you an string is given to you for example this is the string given to you right so what you have to do whatever in your string right it is consisting of some alphabets maybe uh, maybe uppercase alphabet or lowercase alphabet so what you have to do is just simply you have to convert the character which is in uppercase to the lowercase and the character which is in lowercase to the uppercase so uppercase upper case to lowercase right and lowercase to uppercase lower case to uppercase yes so that is what you have to do for example we are having something hello hey so h this is in capital, so that will be con converted to small h, then this will be capital E, this will be capital L, capital L, capital O, small h, capital E, capital Y. So that is what you have to do, right? Something like, let me take my name is self, so, Soumya, right? So this s will be converted in small s and rest, as you can see, rest letter are in, rest characters are in small so they will be converted into upper case well again this is also a very easy question so uh, one important thing that you have to understand or you should be uh, uh, should be understood by you is that ASCII value so for capital A what is the ASCII value 65 for small a the ASCII value 97 so if I want to convert this small a to capital A this value should be converted to the 65. So, what I can do is simply I can subtract 32 from it. So, I will be getting 65. So, now this small a will be converted to capital A. For example, for B, what is the ASCII value? 98. So, and for capital B, the ASCII value is 66. So, if I am simply doing 97 minus, okay, sorry, 98, this is the value, right? So, 98 minus 32, I will be getting 66, which is nothing but capital B. For here, what you have to do again, if you understood this part, you will be understood uh, here as well. So, 65, I want to convert to 97 because I want to convert this capital A to small. So, simply I have to add 30 to it. It will be 97, which is nothing but the ASCII value of small a. For capital B, the value 66. If I want to convert this to small b, so I will be doing nothing but adding 32. So, I will be getting what? 98, 98, which is the value of small b. So, if you are 
encountering a small case character so you have to just do the subtraction of 32 and if you are encountering a upper case character so you have to do the addition of 32 that's it so this is what you have to do this was the whole question the main part of from the question was that only rest was some word language involved but the main thing was this one i hope that if you have got this question so you'll be able to understand right so this was the main logic which i told you right here so quickly jump to the coding part let me show you the code well i am doing this sort of quick manner so that if you are having the exam uh, in today itself or in any other slot so at least you'll be able to understand that what sort of questions are getting asked and again guys the questions are very easy just by these two questions itself you can derive that the questions are easy and and there can be a chance that these sort of questions will be repeated in your slot too so be ready and i'm hoping that this video will be helpful for you so do like this video do share among your friends and do subscribe our channel and be a part of our telegram community as well. The link is given in the description itself. So let's see the code for this part or for this question. Okay, so here you can see what we are doing is we are taking this string S. We are taking this as input. Now there can be a sentence even a character like this for example my name Somya even. So that's why we, I'm taking this uh, string as input in this manner. Right, now simply what I'm doing is I'm traversing through this a string that is given to me till the time I'm not encountering a null character. Now the same logic which I discussed right now, it was simply that if the character on which you are, it, it is lying between the range of a small a and a small z. If this is in this range, then you have to do it. Means if it is a small case uh, character, then you have to simply separate 32 from it. Otherwise, if it is from a uppercase character, like from capital A to capital Z, so you have to simply add 30 to it, right? So that that was the main logic. And at the last, you have to do nothing. Simply, you have to print that string. Let me run it for you so that there is no confusion in your mind. For example, I am giving my name. Okay, so you can see uh, we are getting the expected output. Let us take one more example. So, study with Tomya. You can see the characters which were in capital has become small now and the small case character has become capital now. So, hope the logic and the question and um, the code part, everything is clear for you. So, this is it for this video. Hope this video was helpful for you. If it is so, don't forget to subscribe this channel and I'm sure that this video was helpful for you. So, thank you so much for watching this video guys. Keep learning, keep preparing. Bye-bye.